Hello, today we're going to learn how to use the merge function. So in order to do in order to do that, first we uh, we will need to define our uh, by function interface, and we're gonna call it a mapping function. And what this mapping function does is it takes two strings and compares the length of both of them. If the first one is greater, returns the first one, otherwise it returns the second string. Okay, now what we're going to do, the next step is going to be um, we're going to create our hash map that's going to take a string uh, arguments, a string data, and then we're going to populate it with the following with the following go here and then we populate in this stream this hash map with the following so we're giving this key the key name is going to be um, Dave Beckham the value soccer Michael Jordan and the value is basketball now we're going to see the output of this hash map just to have it as a reference of what's going on so we run it and we see we see our hash map has what we what we put in so key the first key is uh, Michael Jordan second key is David Beckham values basketball value soccer okay now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this mapping function to this hash map. So let's so we we'll apply it to the first key, and now we also going to apply it to the second key. When we're using this key value, we're going to access soccer and basketball, and we're going to use this mapping function. So in other words, it's going to compare the length of soccer with the length of the basketball string and it's going to return the, the graders. The same for Michael Jordan. We access the value, which in this case is going to be basketball. And this mapping function, what it does, is going to take this basketball, this golf, and gonna, it's going to return the string with the greatest uh, length so so we're going to print the output after running merge and as you can see for Michael Jordan has been, it remains the same because Basket, the, bas the basketball length is greater than the golf length, so it remains the same. And for Beckham, David Beckham has changed it because soccer, the original value, is less than the basketball value. We want to see another example. Let's see the we have a element where we declare a key. And this key has a null value. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go, we're going to apply merge, and we're going. And if you remember, we're going to compare this null value with this call. When this happens, when the value the when the value is null. And we actual we actually have a key. This map function doesn't run; it doesn't get called. And what what merge does is just assigns this value of golf to this key value. We're going to see that, and we're going to print that over here. We save and we run, and as you can see. Tyler Woods has been added with this value 
the original body was null. And since we're running this merge, doesn't have anything to compare to. It's just add this value to this key. Now we're going to see another case. Another case. Uh, another case will be like if we have a by function. If our if our mapping function looks like this, we take in two the same two arguments, two strings, and the output is null. So we're going to see what happens when we run this this new mapping function. As you can see, um, we have this key, we have this value, we don't have this key, and of course we don't have this value. So we're going to see what happens when we run this piece of code. Okay, when we run this piece of code, um, and if we have an existing key already in the hash map, and we have a mapping function that returns null, the key gets removed. As you can see on the result, there is no Tyler words anymore. Now, if we have, if we don't have, if we don't have the key in the hash map, this function, like, like like we saw, doesn't get called, and it just add this merge function adds this key with this value to the hash map, as we can see it here. Okay, 